Hi. Yeah. Got the, got the mega aero test thing. I said I'd try a couple more sets. I swear to God, man, getting battles this fucking thing is so painful. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'll detail how this has gone poorly. Um, the first set that I was going to try was an agility arrow with max attack, max defense. Because I figured, fuck, Mega Aerodactyl's got so much ruddy, you know, speed as is, just on base level. And agility, put him above anything, right? It makes sense to me. No, it, it doesn't work out that well. I, so I just gave up on that and I couldn't find a really good battle anyway. I switched to a different set. This is a Home Claws set. In this battle, I thought, hey, Home Claws, I'll put Fire Blast on it. No. Because did you see that fucking Venusaur in the, te in the team thing? Yeah, that Venusaur cock blocked me because I didn't have Fire Fang. If I'd have had Fire Fang, I might have killed it. Might. Just barely. Maybe. So, yeah, then I switch over for the next battle to a bloody, um, just put Fire Fang on it. And it, yeah. There was one battle I had with a guy who was actually really nice, and, you know, he had lost to a bullshit Stone Edge miss. But, you know, there was that one battle I was thinking, oh, yeah, this will be a great battle to, you know, narrate and talk over. And then Showdown's like, oh, sorry, couldn't get the uh, replay, that's our bad. And I have a look, and I've already closed the window down, and I'm like, are you fucking serious? The one guy I found on Showdown... It, just for the last three days, it was actually reasonable and nice. It didn't fucking leave within the first ten minutes. Just, I couldn't save the battle! So I did finally manage to get one. But it wasn't great. Anyway, um, I suppose I'll go over the thoughts of Agility Aero and Home Claws Aero. Since they both have ginormous problems. First off, Agility Aero... Um, it's alright, I did put a Stone Edge on it for the extra power because I noticed, like, randomly after the uh, first video that Stone Edge actually dealt physical contact damage. So I thought, okay, that's going to be better than a Rock Slide, but I don't know. I actually preferred the initial set, to be honest. Just four attacks, just beat stick set. It missed a bit, it fucked me over a little bit, but that's what Arrow is. It's a hit and run Pokemon. When you try and include setup into the this equation, it doesn't work. Arrow is not there for setting up with. If you put agility on it, what nine? Wow, well, what? Aqua Jet can hit it. Ice Shard can hit it. You know, re re really well. To bullet Punch from you know Mega Lucario's ruin it. Um, Mega Kangaskhan will fuck its face in any day of the week, whichever, whenever you want to try and bring Mega Arrow into it. Mega Kangaskhan's just like no, double fake out, double sucker punch, you're dead. So. Agility is not the way forward, believe me. I know I have no games of it, but it's just... No, it's just not. Don't try Agility Mega Aerodactyl. Maybe it'll work for you, but it was constant pain for me. Um, the Home Claws set, a little bit better. Um, it, I, There was, like I say, the match I had against that got bloke who was actually really nice, and I wanted to remember his name, but I don't remember his name because I only played him for ten minutes, so you know, you never remember the name of the people you play. But that guy, um, after getting a home claws up, it outsped Kill and Excadrill, and then it one-shotted, oh, something else, can't quite remember. It might have been an Aegislash, actually, no, it probably wasn't an Aegislash, was it? I don't know, it killed a couple of things and then died, which is pretty much what I expected it to do. But the match after that, where the go where it just didn't go well at all, and it, yeah, once again decided, oh, it's not going to save, so I finally figured it out and I should try and record it in a just like the actual battle screen. Um, I set up my home claws. I got to plus one. I have stone edge. I was max attack. So I just stab with the tough claws. And it dealt 56% to a Rotom wash. And that was just it for me. Like, the Rotom was nearly fucking dead. And it just couldn't get that. That's just done. That that's that's the end of it, as far as I'm concerned. If if the Pokemon is plus one, has Stone Edge stab with Tough Claws, and you can't kill a Rotom Wash at seventy percent. That's it. It's no. That's the end. That is just the end. I don't care. So that was kind of it for me. Like it's good. It can you know. 
if I stop being so stubborn and just sort of shoehorn Stealth Rocks into this team, which I do, because I got rid of Defog on Gliscor and put Stealth Rocks on, then may I don't know. Maybe you could actually get somewhere with it. But you what well, it's really properly late game kind of thing. And again, ninety percent of teams these days I mean what you got? You got Belly Jet, Azumarill, uh like Mega Lucario, someone I've seen a couple of times. Um Kangaskhan just pops up and just flings its poo in your face. I hate that thing. It's horrible. Double soccer punch is just unfair, and the double power up punch no That's just mean. Ah, oh, it's really good. And like I say, you know, one thing with Unaware, well, the main thing with Unaware, i.e. Quagsire, that can actually beat it, get, still gets demolished by a double-double edge. A double-double edge. Double-double-double-double-double-double edge. So, yeah, fuck that. It's it's horrible. But yeah, that, that's where I will say with Mega Aerodactyl. If you are going to use it, Late game sweeper at best. If you want to try like a home claw set with home claws, like say fire fang won't miss. I'm pretty certain fire fang is it's impossible to miss at plus whatever the accuracy boost is. Uh, Aqua tail and fire fang are really good coverage, and you get a pretty beefy fucking stone edge. I'll tell you that. But like you know, I was sort of trying to force it in middle game when shit still got quite a lot of HP, and if it can't kill a road home wash. At 70%, that's it. I don't care. Rotom Wash is not that bulky. Like, it's really bulky, but it's not that, that bulky. That's just stupid in my eyes. That's fucking insane. So, I was just done after that. It's just baffling me. Oh, dear. There is one more set that I will try. Um, which I suppose you'll see next video. I'm thinking of sort of, you know, because... What I wanted to do was have the thing, the set that I thought most people would use, i.e. just the complete all-out offensive set on Arrow. It makes sense, it's got really good speed, really good attack, and it's not got the bulk to set up. Um, and then I figured I'd try a couple of the setup moves it gets. And then there was just one completely off-the-wall set that I wanted to try, and I will try, but I'm going to need an entirely different team to dump in it just because this team will not work. Like, I like this team. It's good, but it's also terrible at the same time. I like Lantern. Specs Lantern's just funny. It just demolishes things. But at the same time, it's so fucking slow. It's ludicrous. I also like this team because Sticky Web really doesn't affect it. Four of my guys fly over Sticky Web, but it just... I don't know. There's nothing really there. It's pretty much, like, as long as Landorus Therian is alive, this team works. But when you lose Landy, it's just done. And there you go, there's, you know, I set up, I knew Mamoswine was going to come in, I kind of uh, jumped the gun a bit on the uh, Yard Mega, I thought I'd have time to set up a home clause and then smack it to death, but it managed to get hit on me. I also thought it would protect trying to see if I went Stone Edge or not, but it really just didn't, did it? It just ignored that one. So yeah, there you go. That's what I think of Mega Aero so far, I am not best pleased, it is really fucking frustrating to use. Like I say, it's such a situational bastard. It just doesn't do what you want it to do. It's really frustrating. It made me cross, and everyone kept leaving when I was doing well, and I kept leaving whenever I was doing shit. So I'm a bit... Of, I, I'm quite the hypocrite in that sense. Like, I get really mad when people leave, but I leave all the time, so I just... Ah. Oh, well. There you go. That, those are my thoughts. I haven't even narrated any of these battles just because I've been moaning. Anyway, uh, leave in the comments if you tried Mega Arrow yet. What are your opinions on it? Do you agree with me? Perhaps you disagree and think the Home Claw set is the best thing in the world. But in my opinion, it's shite. It can do a lot of things, and then there's some things where it just has no hope of killing anything. It's a frustrating boss, and it pisses me off. So, yeah, I'll probably upload another video today, because I didn't upload anything for the last couple of days apart from the Fire Red LP. So yeah, we'll show you my bulky wall set of doom thing that I've got coming. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Just, oh, oh well. Yeah, peace.